Okay, students. So in this video, we will see the division operation. Right. So first, we will see the division operation in decimal point. Then we will see in the binary number system. In the decimal number system, we will uh, divide these numbers, and in binary number system, we will divide these numbers. So coming to here. So when you are going to uh, divide this one. First, you have to check the first bit of this 128. So here in this 128, the first one, right? Take so one. One is less than eight. So it is not dividable. So for that reason, so put here zero and here put zero. Then next one minus zero, one minus zero, one and uh, bring this two to here now <coughs> check that the 12 is dividable with 8 or not check this 12 is greater than 8 so 12 is greater than 8 so now it is divisible so for that reason so 8 1 or 8 so write here here 1 and put here 8 now subtract this one so 12 minus 8 that is 4 12 minus 8 that is 4 next get down this number to here so next 8 48 so here the divide with 8 so 8 is greater than sorry 8, 8 is less than 48 that is the 48 is greater than 8 right now this is divisible right the value of this one here 8 6 job 48 so 6 and 6 8 job 48 so the remainder is 0 and this is the answer so the answer is 16 answer is 0 1 6 that is equal to 16 so 8 16 job 128 so the 128 is divided by 8 with 16 times so this is the solution in our binary number system <coughs> in our decimal number system now we will see the concept in binary number system the same procedure we have to apply here also then you have to start the division the division process right so the first one here 110 here we have to divide this one so one is <coughs> greater than of 110 or less than 110 so one is less than 110 so it is not dividable it is not dividable so for that reason take zero here and here put zero now subtract this one 1 minus 0 1 next get on this 0 to here now bring this 0 to here now 1 0 so 1 0 so the first one this is over next 1 0 so 1 0 is also less than 1 1 0 so it is not dividable okay so for that reason take 0 here and place zeros here okay so 1 0 minus 0 0 so from this 1 minus 0 1 so 0 minus 0 0 and uh, bring this value to here 1 okay <coughs> next 1 0 1 now uh, check this value 1 0 1 1 0 1 and this 1 1 0 so which one is bigger value which one is bigger value this value 1 0 1 that is equal to 5 here 1 1 0 the value is 6 so this is lesser than this value so now this is dividable is it dividable it's not dividable this is 6 right 6 1 just 6 right at least we need minimum here 1 1 0 the, here we need 6 but it is 5 it is not dividable so again put 0 here again put 0 here now uh, write down the, the 0 now you have to write down 3 zeros okay now again you have to subtract so 1 0 1 now bring this fourth value also to here this is 0 now here we have 1010 and here we have 110 so 1010 is greater than 110 right 1010 is greater than 110 actually what is the value of this one this value is 1010 right 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 so equivalent decimal value is equal to 8 plus 2 10 so the value of this one is 10 this value is equal to 6 this value is equal to 6 actually so it is divisible right so for that reason <coughs> i am writing ones so here i have placed one one into one one zero that is equal to one one zero 
Now subtract from this value to this value. So 0 minus 0, 0, 1 minus 1, 0, and 0 minus 1. Right? So here it is not subtract we cannot do subtraction. Why? Because there is no value at the numerator side. So 0 minus 1. So it's not borrowed. Take the borrow from here. So this 1 is shifted to here as 1 0 that is equal to 2. So here the value 0. When it is shifted, the value well, the 1 value shifted to here, this is seems to be like as 1 0. 1 0 means that is the binary representation. In binary, 1 0 is equal to 2. In binary, the 1 0 is representing 2. So 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 that is equal to 1. 2 minus 1 that is equal to 1. So now we got the answer 1 0 0. Now bring this fourth value to here. Bring this fourth value to here. 1 double 0 1. 1 double 0 1. Okay. <coughs> so 1 double 0 1. We can, we can divide or not. So we can divide. So 1 1 0. So put here 1 and write down this 1 1 0 here. 1 1 0. 1 1 0. Right. So again subtract. Again, subtract. So, I am erasing uh, for doing this operation. Okay, I am erasing here. Right. So, here I uh, first here we have to subtract. First here we have to subtract. So 1 minus 0, 1. 0 minus 1, is it uh, so we can do subtraction or, or not? So 0 minus 1, we can't subtract, we have to take the borrow. Actually see here, 1 double 0, this is 1 1. 1 double 0 is equal to 4 and 1 1 is equal to 3. 4 minus 3, we will get, right? What is the answer? 1. So 4 minus 3, that is equal to 1. We can write directly 1, but we have to do the, we have to do the process. Okay, so 0 minus 1. 0 minus 1, we can we can do anything, we can't do anything. So, so you have to take the borrow from here. Here also 0, there is no there is no chance to take borrow. Again, here we have 1. So this one you have to shift it to here. So this one you have to do shift to here. Then it will become 0, 1, 0. Okay. So I will write out the same thing. 1, double, 0, 1 and 1, 1, 0. So what I am doing, see carefully. 1 minus 0, 1. <coughs> Here 0 minus 1, we cannot subtract, we have to take the borrow. So take the borrow from here, right? Here also 0, here, here, we can't take borrow from here. So take the uh, borrow from here. So the 1 is shifted to here, then it becomes as 1, 0 and this 1 becomes to 0. Now here the new value is equal to 0. Now here we have 1, 0, okay? Actually we have to do the subtraction here. So this 1, 0, from this 1, 0, we have to bring 1 from here to here. So, right, presently here we have 1, 0. After shifting to here 1, here only 1 is available. Why? Because from 1, one 0 means in the binary number system 2. So, in the, from the 2, you have taken 1 here and you have only 1 here. Okay. So, now here well, we have 1. 1 minus 1, 0. Here also we have 1. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1, it is equal to 0. Now, we got the solution 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1. Right? Right. Now, see here, we have taken this uh, for uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, fifth digit we have taken, but uh, after subtracting this, you have to take the last digit. Here we have 0. That 0, you have to put here. That 0, you have to put here. Now, coming to here from this uh, place, we have the value is 1, 0, and here we have this uh, one, that is 1, 0 is less than 1, 1, 0. Now, is it divisible? It's not divisible. So, other other points are available. No points are available. Now, this is the remainder. There is no necessity of dividing this 1, 0 by using 1, 1, 0. So, 1, 0 is the remainder. And coming to the here, <coughs> 1, 0 is the remainder. And coming to here, this is our solution. This is our solution. So, the final answer is equal to the final answer. Answer is equal to 1 1. So, this is the final answer. Why? Because left side zeros, it doesn't have any value. So, this is the <coughs> division process.
This is the division process. It's very simple thing. What we did there. So 110. We have to divide this 110 with 1. So uh, this 1 is very lesser than with compared to this one. So we cannot subtract. So put here 0 and put here also 0. That is 0 times it is dividing. Uh, one time it's, even 1 time also it is not dividable. So we have, we have placed 0 here. We have placed 0 here. 1 minus 0. We have placed here 1. Next. Uh, so this 1 is there from this subtraction and we have to take the second value. 1 0. This 1 0 is dividable. It is not dividable with 1 1 0. Why? Because here we have 3 digits. Here we have 2 digits. 2 digits are not dividable with 3 digits. So for that reason we have we have kept here 0 and this 0 0 we have placed here. 0 0 we have placed here. Right. Next. So 1 0 minus 0 0 that is 1 0 and we have, we have taken the third value. We have taken the third value. <coughs> we have taken the third value, right? So one zero one. So this is one zero. Which one is bigger? One zero one is bigger. One 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 zero is bigger one. So you have to divide with one one zero. But this one zero one is lesser than this one one zero. This is five. This is six. So one six zero six. So the minimum value here we have, we need minimum six. But it is five. It is not divisible. Again you have to put zero here. You have to put all zeros. Next uh, one zero one minus all zeros. So finally the answer is zero zero one zero 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 one zero. Zero zero one zero zero one right one one right. the answer is one zero one zero the answer is one zero one zero next coming to here uh, the fourth value zero now one zero one zero we have to divide with one one zero one one zero is bigger one one zero one zero is bigger one one zero one zero is the bigger one so one one zero right one time so one I have placed here and one one zero I have written here. So 0 minus 0, 0, 1 minus 1, 0, 1, 0 minus 1, 1, 0 means 2, 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 is equal to what? 2 minus 1, 1. So I have kept here 1, right? So 1, 0, 0. Now take this uh, next fifth value. So fifth value 1, 1, double 0, 1. I have placed here. Next 1, 1, 0. From this you have to subtract. The subtract, uh, the subtraction process I have given here. The subtraction process now I am again saying here. Right. Right. So 1 minus 0. <coughs> 1 minus 0, 1, we know that. 0 minus 1, we cannot subtract. 1 0, uh, 0 minus 1, we cannot subtract. So for that reason, take borrow. Here we need borrow from here. So here there is no uh, uh, value here. We cannot take borrow. So here we have one. So the the one you have to shift here. So when you are shifting this one from here to here, this will makes as one zero. This will make as one zero. Right. Next coming to here. Now from this one zero you have to bring one. So from this one zero I brought here to one and this one zero becomes as one. This 1 0 becomes as 1. Now here we don't have the value of 1 0. Here we have value 1. Here we have the value 1. 1 minus 1 0. Here we have not 1 0. We have, here we have 1 not 1 0 1 0. So from this 1 we have to subtract this one. 1 minus 1 0. Here nothing is there. Why? Because when you have taken from this uh, uh, 1 from here. Here also it will be 0. So 0 0 1. Uh, so from this uh, 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 after taking this borrow, the result is 0, 0, 1. Next, you have to take this fifth value. So, fifth value I am taking here. That fifth value I have placed here. That is 0. That is 0. Now, coming to here, the subtraction process. Uh, here, we have 1, 0. And from here, 1, 1, 0. Is there any possibility? No. We, we cannot uh, uh, subtract this one. Right, we cannot divide this one. So this one zero is the remainder. So remainder, remainder is one zero, and the answer is one one. The answer is one one. So this is the division process. Here, 
<coughs> the division process we are doing as it is from the normal decimal number system what we have learned from our basic classes from fifth class fourth class third class the same concept with borrowing the same concept we have applied here there is no new thing okay you have to practice at least four to five problems thank you